Hello, welcome back to Veggie Plot. Uh, today is mega harvest day. We've got so much to harvest up here and get back uh, up into storage as soon as possible. Um, it's a lovely day at the moment, but we are due an awful lot of rain. So I'm sort of going against the clock uh, this morning. It's going to be a bit of a rush. So I picked some of these butternut squash up from the other allotment on my way up here. Uh, I just don't do much filming up there, but anyway, I'll pick these. These are F1 Hurricane, I think. I don't normally have much luck with these, and as per usual, I've only got, I've got three of three plants. So I might try growing these in the polytunnel next year. It's something I might be worth a try, see if I get more. These are the winter squash, which were supposed to be Australian butter. But um, as you can see, they've really, really dried out. Actually, let me bring you over and show you. Uh, it's always really good, I find, to let these dry out on the actual plant, on the vine, um, for as long as you possibly can. And then they harden up, the skins harden up really nicely, uh, and then they'll store really well over winter. But another thing, another trick to remember is when you trim them, if you cut them before they're really dry, um, don't cut too close to the plant. Uh, to the fruit basically because what will happen is that they will potentially rot back and they won't store as long so if you cut them beyond this first uh, leaf node is it is that what you'd call it um, if you cut them beyond that then basically the moisture dries back and it all seals up in here and prevents it from rotting into the actual uh, squash as i said these were supposed to be australian butter but as you may know, uh, squash tend to cross-pollinate quite well. There's all the bees flying from flower to flower. And it turned out that either my labelling of the seeds wasn't very good or they just cross-pollinated very well. <laughs> because this is, I think, a cross between a victor, which I think is this striping, uh, and in here a Turk's turban. So, yeah, it's a beautiful looking squash, isn't it? I'm sure it'll taste nice, but... It's not what I wanted. <laughs> anyway, so we'll put that in there. Oh, golly. That's heavy enough, I think, for this one. But yeah, good selection. So I have to get the other basket now and we'll do the other winter squash over the other side. So yeah, this one, the stem's quite green. So if you can see just here. So this is prime example. You don't want to cut I'm not in the picture, am I? <laughs> Let me just crouch down a minute. You don't want to cut into this bit here. So basically the stem here is still green. So if you cut a little bit back, and this one, take these bits off. And then you see this will now die back and seal up at this joint, which means it won't rot back into the middle. Off you go, Mr. Spider. <laughs> Don't rot back into the middle of the uh, actual squash. Anyway, I'm hoping these bits where they've been nicked by pheasants or something, that they don't rot off in there. So I have to be careful and keep an eye on those. Right, let's put that on there. Very heavy. I don't know. Well, you see them? Anyway, it's good to put them down, I think. Yeah, really pleased with those. Good selection, I think, last well over winter. Anyway, I now want to um, go and harvest a lot of the remaining sweet corn. I'm not sure how many we've got left. I'll show you. We've had, yeah, quite a bit of. Uh, pheasant or rat damage or something as I mentioned in the uh, video the sweet corn video that I did earlier on but yeah we've still got a few most with socks on <laughs> and some without but let's just take this off bring it over and show you I haven't opened this one I've no idea what it's like uh, might have left them a bit late in the season I'm thinking uh, yeah. yeah you can see I've left some of these far too long now 
So we might not get a uh, good crop from these and these just have to go on the compost. Shame. Never mind, right, let's see what else we've got. All right, a bit disappointing so far. There are, uh, I think really I've just, should have harvested them all a few weeks ago. Anyway, you live and learn. Well, <laughs> that's a bit disappointing. I'm a bit fed up with myself really for, for that. I think I'll open some of these. Um, you live and you learn all the time, don't you? Gardening and growing stuff, but when you waste food, it's really frustrating. Anyway, oh, actually this one's all right. <laughs> I just, uh, a lot of them have gone over, which is really frustrating. I should have picked them all at the same time. Anyway, this one's quite nice. That's quite a good one. So yeah, some of them are good. Uh, some are tiny, but good. So we've got a few. I'll have to cut the ends off, but they'll be okay. I mean, I'll probably cut the corn off and then do something with it and freeze it, I think. Uh, yeah, it's not easy to do this one-handed. <laughs> but yeah, that one's okay. So yeah, I've got a basket for some of them, so that's good. I'm not terribly disappointed, but let me show you the ones that didn't quite work out. So they're the good ones. And this is the pile of, of not so good. You know, some of these just haven't, you know, uh, pollinated very well. Uh, some are okay, but it looks okay. But then around this side, it's all dried out and so on. I could possibly take the top off that and keep the bottom. Uh, but some of them, yeah, they're just going over. They're going all wrinkly and so on. And they're probably pretty poor taste now. Look at that one, it's dreadful. Anyway, so that's that. That's the corn, sweet corn harvest done. Uh, been a really good year. Uh, do go back and look at the sweet corn video. I think it's a couple ago uh, and see what you think of that one. There's lots of hints and tips on that, but I shall add to that tip. That is when they're ripe, have them all, <laughs> get them all, all harvested. Right, I think that's them done now. Let's go and get some French beans. These are the Safari French beans. These are the second sowing, if you remember. I uh, just pick one. I don't normally sow them this late. You can see, yeah, perfect at the moment. Uh, yeah, I don't really sow them this late. Don't normally do a second sowing, but I thought this year I'd just try it and it's really paid off. So I did them in the summer earlier. And we got a great crop. And then I managed to, do you remember in that video, the black and white pictured one, if you look back, uh, I managed to kill off most of them by using the comfrey feed, but putting too much in the watering can and basically poisoned the lot. But I haven't done that with these. And as a result, we have some really good crops. So I'll just show you. I've let those two get a bit big actually, but yeah, there's absolutely loads of them. So I'm gonna get on and harvest some of these. over here with this lot uh, doing uh, quite well so far today right let's uh, just grab this bag and go and get these runner beans you can see the wind is uh, it's quite windy at the moment and uh, this is taking a bit of a battering so I think these runner beans will be coming out very soon yeah it's not many just a few Let's uh, go down and get the rest of these courgettes, shall we? All right, let's just put that down there. I don't think there are many. Uh, a few little ones there and some nice yellow ones. So these are the, I'm not sure if these are Soleil or what was it? Um, oh, I can't remember the name now, but it's quite a nice one, isn't it? That's a nice one. Let's um, just lay them all out, I think. Take the ones we can. Uh, right, there's a few. Let's see what else we've got. Not too bad. End of season. Still nice to be getting courgettes. <laughs> yeah, quite a nice one, that one. Right, let's just uh, put all these in the bag. Take the flowers off. 
Yeah, some lovely ones here. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, very pleased with those. It's uh, nice to get some end of season courgettes. Right, let's um, yeah, go and get the kale, shall we? The netting seems to be holding up really well, so we haven't had any any butterflies or cabbage sort of uh, related caterpillars in here, which has been wonderful. Yeah, got some nice, nice leaves. See, so these are all good, but yeah, a chunky stem. Anyway, right, don't need this one in there. So it'll give us plenty of light for the others to keep growing away happily. Right, let's put this lot in the basket. Right, nice bag of kale and bits and bobs, so I'm just going to drop this netting down just in case we do get any butterflies, but I think it's too late in the season for that, and I'll come back and sort that out a bit later. Right, last but not least, I'm going to go and get some Swiss chard. The chard leaves are getting quite mature now, so I want to have some of these out because they're beginning to go over a little and get that sort of yellow speckledy look to them. So I want to get these nice fresh ones while they're still looking lovely. Right, well, thank you very much for sticking to the end of the video. <laughs> uh, this is what we've got today, which is I'm really, really pleased with. It's, it's good to um, come along to the, the end of the season and still be harvesting a good amount of crops. Uh, I've got a lot of tidying up to do um, when I'm finished filming, but yeah, we've got some lovely late season courgettes. Uh, last of the sweet corn, which I left a bit too long. So that's a, a note to myself to remember for next year. Got some lovely winter squash. Another note to self, make sure you get the seeds that you want. I think these have cross-pollinated, not kind of what I wanted, but they'll be good. And then the Hurricane uh, F1 butternut squash. These will be delicious. And then we've got some lovely late season sown dwarf French beans. And this is what I mean about putting things in, not when the seed packets say. Uh, we've just got this wonderful crop right at the end of the season, which is great. More winter squash. And then obviously these lovely kale and Swiss chard down there, which we picked earlier on. Next video probably be in the greenhouse or the poly time. I've got lots of chilies to harvest, so hopefully you can join me on that. Or uh, it'll be at the other allotment. I've got lots of main crop potatoes to dig up and harvest as well. So anyway, as always, if you've got something from the video, please do consider liking, subscribing, and hitting the bell button for notifications. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.